Okay, let's get going. We chart a course. And this game will automatically try to go for the most direct course, which might not be the fastest one since navigating through hazardous places takes more time. And uh, let's say go through there. And it will automatically notify you if it spots spacecraft in the same sector. Even if it's someone who would be hostile to you, well, uh, it may not automatically uh, attack you while you press pass through the same sector. But if you enter cockpit mode, then it will very quickly notice you and start attacking. And of course, you can't navigate in this view if someone is attacking you. So you can, it is possible to run run away in the cockpit. Yeah, let's show what the nebula are like. Okay, we have purple and blue balls of gas. Okay, as I recall, the red gas is or purple gas is harmless, harmless, while the blue one will uh, eat through your shields. Let's continue. And the skull was is another type of merchant vessel. Okay, circle around the asteroids a bit, so this will go, go quicker. Corsair. And let's show what the asteroids are like. That's a Corsair. Ah, so they are pirates. They, uh, they start out um, well neutral, so they won't attack you unless you attack them. Now, killing pirates will get you hmm, a bit slow. Let's up the cycles a bit. Oh, bumped into an asteroid there. Now, destroying a pirate ship will get you... Oh, and uh, that's another pirate ship. Well, each faction only has two different types of ships, so you have seen uh, all types of merchants and, and all types of pirates now. Now, you do get a reward for blowing up a pirate ship, though it's really quite measly. Something like um, 70 credits or something. And also, if you blow up a Manchi ship, those two are here. So let's see, this game has four factions, each having two ships, so there's a total of eight different ships in the game, in addition to yours. You won't see another Sun Racer class vessel in the game. Now, let's enter the out outpost. Now, in order to talk, talk with a space station, you have to fly into a certain part of the station. Here it's the inner surface which has that green door. And you don't, don't go in too fast or it, you'll just crash into it and you will be bumped back. And you can fire at a space station, but that doesn't really have any benefit, they'll just prevent you from docking until the next day. Docking privileges at Micon 1 Outpost granted. Enjoy your visit with us and don't forget to stop in our renowned cantina. And here's the, the, the other game mode. Walking around, top down view, like a role, role playing game. Ooh, there's a locked door. Uh, we could try to pick the lock, but that has a chance of raising an alarm, which will have these guards come at you, which will in, in turn result in a 
fine and being thrown out to station and again you won't be allowed to re-enter until the next day. Yeah, most of these places don't really have anything. They're quite few and far between. Let's see who we have at the cantina. Oh, and you can of course inspect the signs on the walls. Few of the millions of asteroids that make up the rich Reckfeld fields. Okay, let's try talking to this guy. Usually the bars have... Uh, well, the bars always have one person who... Uh, actually, there's sort of a group of NPCs who travel around and you'll always find one of them at a bar at any given station. It's, it's rather random which one it is. And usually they have at least one you know, local resident. And this guy apparently uh, doesn't really like the music. Awful, isn't it? Let's please him. Well, yeah, it is. Ah, man of taste. So rare these days. Most people would call that noise music. It just breaks one's heart. Or one's eardrums. But forgive me. I am... Geul? Jerl? Bonnet? Perhaps you've heard some of my music. Um, yeah, I think. Did you know I was once the Emperor's court musician? I entertained the most powerful people in the Imperium. Hyathra court. Oh, Hyathra. Whatever. I've many a lively story, but I suppose none of this interest interests you. No, please go on. Well, perhaps a pint of Selvian ale would refresh my memory. Well, let's buy him ale. And it costs 10 credits. That's our best deal. Ten credits, please. What person of greatness do you wish me to speak of? Well, uh, Yathra is the current emperor, so let's ask about this Koth guy. He thinks he's a noble, what with his medal and all. But he's a commoner, through and through, and crass one at that. The man had the nerve to call my music just so much fluff. Said he liked the sound of a blaster fire better. What a buffoon! Ah, let's leave. Well, it's been pleasant chatting with someone who appreciates the finer things in life. Have a nice day. Yeah, this cut guy is actually no, a decorated general. And, uh, well, we'll be hearing more of him later. And now... Uh, okay, sorry about that. Had a message coming and... This is one of the guys who travels around. A young... A young soldier. Tom's the name, civilian. Uh, let's... Let's humor him and have a chat. Yeah, the guard's given me a bunch of time off, so I'm touring too far. Everywhere I've been, I've met, I meet, I've met, I've met, I've met, I've met, I guess, I've met all kinds of nice folks. Like who? Uh, let me think, who did I meet recently? Oh, like Duchess Evanstar. She's one of the grandest people I ever did meet. And real sharp. Too, too bad she's run afoul of that black hand cult. It's been so nice meeting you. Bye. Okay, and what else have we here? Well, we could... Oh, yeah, and you can move around with the mouse, so that's a bit awkward in this mode. Oops, excuse me for a minute. And, uh... Yeah, let's see about this hive game. Brought to you by Origin. Here we move around trying to find munchy hives and destroy them. 
we have this plasma rifle or something and I'm having uh, really bad luck finding it okay there it is oh you can hide in the gr this tall grass so it also is destroyed by fire and you have to fire at a, ma a hive opening from right next to it to destroy it at least I think so uh, where did those come from? there's no opening nearby ok that looks like a hive recall that means you've destroyed the necessary amount and drop successful yeah if you get far enough in this game you'll actually learn uh, uh, not learn, earn credits but that's kinda disproportionate for the F time you'll have to spend so let's find a munchie and have our head beaten off here we go fine, kill me or don't Do I have to run one of those? Run into one of those suckers. Damn, you aren't making it easy on me to get killed here. Ah, <sighs> come on. Yeah, and of course, one of those. That little beep signals another entrance opening. Oh, you can fire diagonally too. Didn't know that actually. <clears throat> oh, hello. Okay, and that's it. Got killed. And you can talk to bartenders. You look thirsty. What can I get you? And green head, blah blah, dry jelly and ale. Let's go with dry jelly and ale since it reminds me of Romulan ale. And of course, the bartenders, as usual, will. Spread, spread around rumors. Here you go. Did you hear about the Pastruti disaster? Seems the station's genetics lab brewed up some kind of mutant monster that got loose. Bloody mess. Place is still quarantined because nobody's willing to go back in there. Back in there. Another one, buddy? Gee, what do you think are the chances we'll have to go in there over the course of the game? Okay, let's... Okay, and this also is to the... Ah, oh, locked area. Now, this guy with, uh, I think that's supposed to be a wrench symbol. Let's uh, fix the bump, and these guys sell missiles, plasma torpedoes, uh, unguided Nova missiles, guided, uh, have a huge honking blast. Actually, I think the manual might have said they have a nuclear warhead. SM-1 missiles, uh, smaller blast, also guided. And they can also fix systems, but nothing is broken right now. And the dollar sign means they here you can buy and sell cargo here. Ooh, this is for credit credits. Uh, illegals, there are a few illegal goods and you go with those at an imperial star base they will confiscate you but however if you do manage to smuggle them in you can sell them for top dollar there ah, this is not really good stuff here to sell or to buy right now yeah the, the inventories what they have for sale also change every day Let's go talk to this guy over there. Oh, and you can also try to pick the lock of a safe. You'll get some credits if you succeed. Oddly enough, you can repeatedly try to pick, pick, pick the lock and pilfer the safe even you if you already emptied it once. I mean, during the same visit, and you can get most, more credits. But also that can raise the alarm. And unlike the doors, you do not get the possibility of using a keycard, which we do not have. Let's talk to t t 
this guy Grr, starting to stumble over my words oh looks like he's doing well ah I know you you're making a name for yourself merchant I take it you've come to learn from Sir L the master merchant himself I, I don't really know how this guy knows us but sir excellent Listen well, and I will reveal the secrets of acquiring wealth beyond your imagining. But before I say more, we must strike a deal. A favor for a favor, as it were. Agreed. Sure, what's the favor? A ah, shrewd bargainer. <laughs> One must always ask the price before shaking hands. The favor I ask is not much. You see, we are all entitled to our indiscretions. Mine involved a certain daughter of a highly placed imperial official, and notch notch wink wink. I must curry his forgiveness with a small gift. Mm, price receipt, really. But then so is the official's cooperate, cooperation in certain matters. Will you deliver this for me? Sure. Splendid! I knew I could count on you. Simply to deliver this statuette to Aurelian on Hyathra. When you return, we'll talk further. Okay, so let's go. Oop. And simply walk into the door to your ship and we'll chart a course. This is Hayathra Starbase. Yep, okay, that says it. Glorious Emperor Detras Hayathra the Third. Hayathra, Hayathra, him. What should I call the guy? Okay, we'll enter the cockpit. Um, go and tank him. No threat to us. Let's see the Starbase and to talk with these. You'll have to uh, touch the white section between those flat pyramids. Let's go a bit higher so you can see it better. But actually, I'm going to... Oh, look! The lights went purple, which means there's a third ship that started fighting with the uh, merchants. Probably a pirate. No, actually, it's a wasp. That's uh, that's the weaker type of Manchi ships. And that green dot there is a plasma torpedo it launched. And let's see, it displays, well, the distance to the targeted ship, uh, the current tactic, uh, the manual says it's extrapolated by the onboard on computer on our ship. Uh, it's armor and the state of its systems. No, not right now the missile launcher is damaged. Ah, uh, wait. Oh, I don't think we... I think one of the merchants blew that up in front of our noses since we get, didn't get the message uh, of getting a reward for it. Oh well, times the breaks. Anyway, oh and you can only save your game in a, the cockpit view. So, let's save. And we'll return to more Space Rogue next time.